Good blessed it, uh, Sunday afternoon, it's August the 15th, uh, 2021, uh, the time being about 12.07 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. I got my Let My People Go uh, t-shirt on today. Uh, I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace. And the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you are black, white, or whatever your nationality may be. It doesn't matter even... If you like me, nor my YouTube videos or anything I say, your thumbs up or thumbs down, uh, it's irrelevant to me because when I make a YouTube or get on social internet, it's just to try to awaken somebody that may be asleep. Uh, today, I'm, a, uh, I'm here in uh, Bloomfield, Missouri. This is the uh, Missouri Veterans Cemetery in Bloomfield, Missouri, where my dad, uh, may he rest in peace, uh, died January the 30th, 2021 at 93 years old. He had dementia. He stayed with me and my two youngest daughters uh, since October of 2014, a little over uh, almost uh, six years. Uh, but uh, he died of dementia and uh, he was a World War II veteran. And he asked, uh, when he was in his right state of mind, he had asked that he be buried out here in Bloomfield, Missouri uh, Cemetery, where his brother, my uncle Ernest Ivy, uh, is buried. A career war veteran. Both of them was honorably discharged. Both of them was drafted in a war that they both, I was able to sit down and say that uh, even though that they was drafted, they went in even though they know uh, it was unjust. This country was unjust to them, their parents and their great grandparents and they, uh, and even their uh, siblings, their children. Uh, when they was drafted in the war, uh, they, it was racism against blacks. And when they got in the war, it was racism against blacks. Some people will tell you it wasn't, but I have live video of my dad telling how it was when they had the black soldiers separated from the whites and i don't think my dad will lie about that but we're gonna go down here and uh visit him and my uncle's grave site uh when my uncle uh ernest ivy a uh i believe he was a corporal in the uh united states army in the uh career war he was a career war veteran uh, he was buried out here in Bloomfield, I think, less than a year after they built this one here because his stepmother and his step-grandfather and his biological sister and his uncle, they all four of them is buried in Mound City, Illinois, in the Mound City, Illinois, a veteran cemetery. So you see uh, military personnel running uh, the Ivy family. But uh, anyway, well, I want to come up here and pay respects to my uncle, uh, Ernest Ivy. Uh, he was the second one that was buried out here uh, when uh, in this K row where, where, it's, where it's showing where he was in the K row. I'm not going to stay out here too long. I see a bunch of these big old horse flies trying to get in. I experienced them when I came to the South and uh, worked in Kentucky in the tobacco fields for a little while. But I want to uh, come out here and uh, for my uh, cousin that's uh, still alive, Ernestine Tina uh, Watson and uh, Brenda Watson. Uh, this was uh, this is their dad. May he rest in peace. Uh, Ernest Ivy, Corporal, United States Army. I mean, yeah, United States Army, Korean War veteran. You see when he was born, July the 20th, 1931, he passed away February the 20th, 
7, 2004. They built this place here and I think it's September, August or September of 2003. But he was the second one that was buried in this, this row. And you can see how many more soldiers has uh, passed away. And I salute every one of these soldiers out in this cemetery who stood for justice for all. We know some soldiers, Looks like uh, on Wednesday, uh, uh, January the 6th, 2021, in Washington, D.C., it was a 19-year veteran female Air Force. I can't honor her even though she lost her life. I can't honor her because she was breaking the law, trying to break into the White House, wasn't pleased about Donald Trump uh, losing the election. I can't honor people like that. I can't honor anybody that was on the racial side or anybody that was unjust to all human beings. And that go for any nationality. Some people may not like that, but that's your prerogative. Don't listen to what I got to say. You know, that's just like uh, David Dukes uh, uh, that used to be a, a grand wizard of the Ku Klux Klans. He went run the election as a representative in the state of Louisiana uh, some years ago. And then he was going to run for uh, governor. But see, some people honor that. But I don't honor no Ku Klux Klan. Never have and never would. But I'm going to go on head on down to where my uh, where my dad is buried at. Now, ain't this something? He's the second one buried in this here. And back then, my dad, where my dad is buried at now, uh, they wasn't uh, they hadn't even started on that yet. Uh, but my dad is the second one buried in the one where he at. He's happened to be, even though his last name is Ivy, too. He's buried in Iro. This is something recently they was building as I was coming out here. But I'm finna go in uh, to where my dad is uh, buried at. And like I said, I honor all, all people that stands for justice for all. You see what I'm saying? Some people don't stand for justice for all. That's just like some police. They don't stand for justice for all. And I know that for a fact because I done been living in Charleston, Missouri for a quarter of a century. And that's one of the most racist uh cities that I ever lived in in my life. Let me put my seatbelt on. I want to do everything right. But this it's it's this is a to be a cemetery is a nice nice clean place. You know only thing is you know uh don't nobody wants to you know be coming to a cemetery I believe they own all this land here I see I'm not the only one out here uh, today I'm finna go out here now look like they up here where my dad is uh, buried at I'm gonna come on around a little bit How y'all doing? There's somebody that have family member that's buried there too, where my dad is buried at. I'm gonna go out here and and uh, see where my dad is buried at. Yeah, my dad, he was the second one buried out here, World War II veteran. Yeah, I'm making a little video. I came out. When, it, when I came out, uh, it wasn't none out here, really. Yeah, uh -huh. And I guess they was waiting on this one, but none of these wasn't out here. This yeah. is my dad here, Johnny A. Ivey. He, yeah. he, uh, he died of a dementia. Uh, he, he was 93 years old. Yeah. And he, uh, uh, he died of dementia on January the 30th. Yeah. He stayed with me and my two youngest daughters for... Uh, about six years. Yeah. He fought a good fight. Yeah. You know, I, he was at home with me and I was holding his hand when he, yeah. when he passed away. Yeah. I remember when they brought his body out here, they wouldn't let me see him bury him. They let him uh -huh. see him, take him out the casket, out the thing and put yeah. it in the, the little box. But, uh, yeah, they had just started this road.
you know, and when I came out of the second time, when they told me his headstone was there, this one was here, but the rest of them wasn't. Ain't yeah. that something? Yeah. This one's our son-in-law. Oh, okay. May he rest in peace and thank him for his service, you know? Yeah, that's... They watched it fill up. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I just want to just say, you know, I thank all of these yeah. soldiers for the services that they... They serve uh, for this country. Yep. You know, I think everybody should honor them. Yep. You know. Well, I'm going to just say rest in peace, Dad.